To say that these two countries always had a beef would be an understatement. Through much of the history, they blamed each other for pretty much everything. In the 1990s, after a bit of tomfoolery, they started a conflict which lasted for 5 years and was really, really bad. Tens of thousands died with the horrible suffering on both sides. But at least the songs were fire. Video about that soon. The Serbian army lost the war and was expelled from the Croatian territory. So the question arises, could they do it again in 2023 but succeed? Oh boy, I can already see the war in the comments. This should be fun. In this hypothetical scenario, outside interventions and allies are forbidden to make it fair. As Croatia is a part of NATO and we saw how it was in 1999 for Serbia. If a war would erupt, it would be along the only border these two countries share. In the middle is the Danube river, which would be a defensive stronghold for Croatia as the Serbian army would have to cross the river, which is rather risky as Croatia could return fire from the other side. Croatia has some 15,000 personnel while Serbia has around 25,000, which would be favorable as they are on the offensive. Serbia will probably first pound Croatian positions with its stockpile of a hundred or so old Yugoslav and Soviet artillery. Also they will try to establish air superiority as Croatia currently has a dozen of old MiG-21s which would fail against Serbian 11 modernized MiG-29s. Croatia did order 12 modern Rafals but they have not been imported yet, only one for training. Luckily for the Serbian Air Force, Croatia has poor anti-air defenses relying on just man pads and short range print systems, so without Rafals Serbia would likely establish air superiority which would give them massive advantage as they could engage Croatian positions unopposed. But still, there is a risk for ground support missions as modern man pads are really dangerous. We have seen that in Ukraine. Also, a small number of Serbian MiG helicopters and drones would be at risk as they are flying low. Main armor trust of 300 or so Serbian M84 and T-72 tanks will probably come in the south of the border beneath the Danube river as it would be less difficult and risky to cross. However, Croatian anti-tank missiles like American Javelins and Swedish AT-4s will probably, if used right, take them out easily if not supported by Serbian mix and infantry. Croatia would likely spot them with drones and strike with German Haubitzes, which have shown to be precise. Also, Croatia has hundreds of Bradleys and Patriots, which have TOW and Spike anti-tank missiles. Both sides do not have any long-range missiles, so most likely Serbia could strike Croatian military HQs and logistics with MiG-29s inside Croatia. However, same could not be said for Croatia as 12 all MiGs would probably be shot down as Serbia has four Chinese modern long-range air defense batteries along dozens of short-range but still capable Russian systems. The main armor thrust into Croatia will probably be stopped as Serbia would not be able to support the troops from the air as MiG-29s could only be used for long-range trunking of logistics but to use them for close air support would put them at risk because of Croatia's main pads. Also, Serbia does have 10 or so J-22 close air support jets but they would not be a game changer as they are just not numerous and capable enough. Successful attacks in history had to have huge numerical and technological advantage, overwhelming air superiority and good terrain, sometimes all that combined. Serbia has none of that, so the attack will probably result in trench warfare as neither side has much greater force than the other. So it would resort to a game of exhaustion, where both sides try to wear each other down. But as both sides are almost equally matched, Stalemate is highly likely. As for casualties, attackers almost always in this kind of scenario have greater casualties, so Serbia is more likely to lose more men and equipment. So the answer is no, Serbia would not be able to invade Croatia. They just do not meet the requirements for successful invasion. But of course, this is just a hypothetical scenario and as we have recently seen, modern warfare is extremely complicated and has a lot of factors, so take this with a huge grain of salt. What do you think about this scenario? Tell me in the comments, I am more than happy for discussion. And if you like this video, consider watching the video on why some Croatians do not like the purchase of Rafals. 